Taurus, good night. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight we are going to do a why did they ghost me and are they coming back reading, okay? So I've already tapped into your energy. I pre-shuffled, pre-meditated on these cards. So we're going to pull four cards to find out why this person ghosted you. And then, like I said, we're going to find out if this person is coming back, okay? So for Taurus, can I get four cards, please? Taurus, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if this resonates. One more card, please, for Taurus. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords, okay? Somebody was really in their head about this connection. Perhaps maybe why they ghosted. Okay. So, Taurus. I'm picking up that this person self-sabotaged the connection here, okay? Um, they could have some kind of addiction. They could be addiction addicted to some kind of drug or... Uh, not necessarily so. They could be addicted to sex. It could be a number of things that they're addicted to. Um, but this person has a bit of a toxic energy is what I'm picking up here. It could have been a toxic connection between the two of you. However, I'm not necessarily picking that up. Take that how it resonates. It's more because this person was in their head about it. Look at this. Even underneath, we have the Eight of Swords underneath that Nine of Swords. Somebody had a victim mentality here, and I believe it was this person. Um, perhaps they felt like, Taurus, you, um, I'm not sure, but there's some kind of resentment here towards you. I'm almost even going to pull another card to see why. But I can see, yes, this person walked away, or they decided to walk away. For some reason, they felt like this was a losing battle. But again, it's based off of their own illusions and their own mind here. Um, it's not necessarily to say that anything dramatic happened. I'm, I'm honestly picking up that this is due to an addiction here. This person feels like they're not good enough for you. I'm picking up a low self-esteem here with this person. Let's see if we can clarify this um, Eight of Cups, please. We could be dealing with a Capricorn, I've got Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, heavily. Uh, there's a bit of water, but honestly, I, I'm picking up a heavy air, or like I said, a Capricorn here for us. Can you clarify this Eight of Cups, please, for why they ghosted Taurus? Okay, Ace of Cups. That's what I'm saying. I feel like this person just didn't love themselves here. I think it's an issue with their own self-confidence of why they left. Okay. Again, because we have the Seven of Swords here, self-sabotage. And then we have the Ace of Cups clarifying the Nine. So I feel like this is a personal issue of why they walked away. Again, an issue of confidence. There could be some kind of illusion in their mind. Again, due to drugs. It doesn't have to be anything hard. It could be marijuana they could be just a drinker they could do anything honestly it doesn't it's not restricted here um but this person has their own demons it seems like or they it ha they have their own issues um i don't think it was anything necessarily related to you again with this ace of cups it's almost like some kind of issue with themselves here let's see if i can get any insight can you clarify this devil card please yeah <laughs> so okay wow listen so taurus the devil clarified by the emperor i'm feeling like this person doesn't have control because the emperor the emperor is all about control and authority but paired with the devil i'm feeling a lack of control here with whatever substance or toxic um energy that's really uh empowering them here is what i'm getting it's like almost engulfing them yeah it's like it's it's an energy of like i said it's something psychological with them there's a victim mentality they could have felt like i'm honestly picking up that they felt like they weren't good enough they have a problem here with this devil and the emperor Okay, and it's making them kind of cold. Hmm. Let's see if this person's coming back, Taurus. Is this person coming back to Taurus? Or are they going to communicate? The 
Taurus. Can we have four cards, please? Is this person coming back? Guys, um, if you're interested in a personal reading, I am giving away a free one to a lucky subscriber. There's um, information in the description box down below how to enter for a free reading. Or if you just want a personal reading, clarify, uh, clarification on this reading, there is information on how to get a personal reading for me down there as well, okay? Can we get four cards, please? Is this person coming back? The cards are not, this deck is just not talking to me here. Oh, okay. All right, so we got five cards. <laughs> Apparently they are talking to me, okay? So... Let's take a look here and see what's what, okay? So we've got the Ten of Cups. We've got the Eight of Cups. We've got the Judgment. And we've got the Queen of Cups. With the Seven of Wands. I think this person may have ghosted or retreated because they needed to take care of themselves here with the Seven of Wands. All right? I think they're really trying to find stability within themselves here. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like they may want to give this another shot here because we have the Judgment as well, which is about awakening. Um, and then the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is about longing for someone from the past. It's about really feeling like you missed a connection that could have been fertile, okay? That's what the Queen of Cups is about. Um, it is a romantic feminine energy. However, it does speak to really um, the, the sense of longing, okay, for someone. I In the camera, it's reversed, <laughs> but this queen is actually looking left. Um, I'm not sure if it reflects on your side. I'm pretty sure it's backwards, but... It, she looks left, which is looking towards the past, okay? So this is telling me, Taurus, that this person may reach out. It's a really soft, tender energy. Um, I think this person is really fighting hard to get past their demons here. Um, I think they're going to come through with something, like, really light, like a, hey, how you doing? I feel like they know that they by them ghosting you, they kind of poisoned the well, so to speak. So... I think when they come back, they're going to be looking for forgiveness here with this judgment card and wanting to work on like building this connection again really slowly, like one step at a time is what I'm seeing here. Okay, Taurus. Um, yeah, comment down below. Let me know how this resonates. Okay. Um, again, check the description box for all of my information and check out my other readings. I do sexual magic readings as well. Um, they're quite spicy and I do do love bite readings. Um, you can find all of that on my page, okay? Take care, Taurus.